but what are some ways people question how they believed and then they question whether or not they really believe and then they question whether or not they're actually safe. Well, one is, you know, you're unsure of the exact, exact date and time of well, the exact date and time when you called upon the Lord to be saved. And some people might say, well, I don't know if I ever did. Or, or they say, I don't know when I did. You know, I don't remember the exact day or date. You know, I don't have it written down in my Bible somewhere when I got saved. I just know that I believe now. And they might question whether or not they believe. John 3, Jesus says here, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, You must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, cometh and, with, and whither it goeth, so is every one that is born of the Spirit. Now a couple of the guys were talking about what this word listeth means. Um, in the dictionary it says to either choose or to please, but basically my understanding of it is when it says the wind bloweth where it listeth, it's, it's just wherever you desire, wherever you choose, wherever it chooses to go. And we can see even when you look at other verses in the Bible, you know, in James uh, 3, I think it is, or James 4, where it talks about the governor turning the ship about whithersoever the governor listeth. So he's controlling the ship wherever he chooses to go or wherever he desires to go. Um, but I just wanted to uh, just give a couple of thoughts on this verse here. It has nothing to do with the sermon. But I think what this verse is talking about, the wind bloweth, bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth, so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. What I think that verse is talking about, if you've ever wondered, is you, know, you can't see somebody's salvation, but you can hear their salvation because you can hear them confess the Lord Jesus. You can hear them say that they believe that Jesus is the Son of God. You can hear them say that they are believing on Jesus Christ. And you know, we talked about faith being manifested by words. So I think that's what this verse is talking about, is you can hear the wind, you can't see it. And it's the same with the Spirit. When somebody believes on Jesus Christ, you can hear that testimony that the Spirit is bearing witness in them and their spirit bears witness with the Spirit of God, but you can't see um, their salvation. But the reason why I'm going to this verse is, you know how the spiritual birth is likened to a physical birth. And you know, not everybody knows their physical birth date. I don't know if you've ever met somebody like that, but my grandma was somebody like that. We never really knew when her birthday was. And because the Chinese calendar uses the lunar calendar as well, so you know, do you use the birthday date of the, of the solar calendar or the lunar calendar? I guess that doesn't actually change which, which date it was. It doesn't matter how you reference it. But she did not know, and none of her children knew the day which she was born. They knew roughly the year she was born, but even that was disputed because when she passed away, there was, there was dispute over what uh, like birth date to put on her tombstone because nobody really knew exactly that date. Now, just because we didn't know the date of her birth, does that mean that she wasn't born? So you cannot know your birthday. It doesn't change whether or not you've been born. And I believe it's the same with your spiritual birth. You can know that you're born again. You can know that you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and it has nothing to do with knowing the date or the time that you called upon the Lord. <clears throat> 